Okay, here we go for a second video. This is going to be a video showing the first dissection you guys are going to be making. I'm hoping that our computer here will be able to process the video and recording. It looks pretty choppy still. That's okay. So, first thing I want you guys to notice that I'm trying to show you here at this point, you're going to notice a line that is going along the side of the cat. Okay, there's a line there. You might notice there's another line right here. There's another line that's going to be right here. Um, and what you're seeing here are three muscles that we're going to be getting underneath. We're going to be dissecting here, okay? So let's hit play on the video and see us go through these, okay? So I'm just going to draw you these lines. I'll be ready to hear, pause here. All right, so the first tool that we're going to use is our blunt probe right here, okay? This is the blunt probe. You're going to use the blunt probe and tease mainly at the tissue that is on the this side of this line. So if I here's my line that I'm going to be going down, you're going to try to get yourself underneath this tissue here. So as if you're underneath that. I don't know. That's kind of a funky looking arrow. But all right, let's hit play and watch how, watch how we do this here. All right. Okay. All right. A lot of white. There's this white fascia. This. Uh, this nasty loose uh, connective tissue that's going to be all over everything and you're going to actually you see me I'm actually kind of pulling away at it with my probe getting underneath it and you can see right now my probe's about to get underneath this muscle which is the latissimus dorsi you see how now my my probe is actually under the muscle and now you can see at this point right here you know my fingers underneath it so I'm going to keep kind of extending this margin all the way back Okay, I want to point out one important thing that you might notice here. The margin is going right here. I've kind of lifted up a piece of it right there. We're going to be getting ourselves freed up from here all the way down to about here. Do not go anywhere over there. Not good at all. Okay, So only along this one single margin right there. So let's watch as we try to get underneath this latissimus dorsi. Okay. Again, you kind of have a nice view of it right here, what I'm trying to show you. Scroll this down. Okay, if I pause it, you can see again, right here, I do not want to go on this line here at all. You can kind of see there's a line right there. Do not shove your probe in here. We're going up this direction, this direction only with our probe really important so I'm going to kind of free things up with my finger you can see how deep I'm actually able to get underneath the latissimus dorsi okay and we're going to free up this margin so if I speed things up you can see as I'm freeing up the margin I'm just kind of go quickly here again we'll have demo cat set up in the room I'm removing a lot of this loose connective tissue that's on the outside be a little careful down here on the chest. I don't want you to get too crazy and tear the Ziphy humoralis. That's a muscle we'll look at later. So be kind of careful down here at the chest. You can kind of see I actually start to expose them right there. There's a little muscle that's running right there but I just pointed at. Okay, so now I've kind of exposed the latissimus dorsi. You can see how much I've removed things. You actually can start to see where I'm going to start showing. Okay, so at that moment you might have saw that I was getting my probe all the way under. Now we're going to locate the spine... Um, Spino trapezius. So that's what I'm doing. You might be able to just barely notice the line. Here, I'll try to highlight it here for you. You can see this little line right there. It kind of goes back in that direction. So if I remove this line, you can kind of see a little line right there. That's what I'm going to attack now with my probe. So I'm going to get underneath the spino trapezius. Notice I'm starting from the back end. I'm going to work my way forward. So we'll get under the spino trapezius. Speed up this process again. All right. Freeing up the margin, using the blunt probe, and using mainly my fingers. So getting underneath the spinal trapezius and latissimus dorsi. So this is kind of the order that you're going to work on in your dissection. Okay. After I've done the spinal trapezius, I'm removing a little bit of back fat there. Okay, good. All right, I'm underneath the spinal trapezius, it's a nice little pocket. Eventually what I'm going to locate is the acromiotrapezius. That's my next muscle to find. 
really working on separating the spinal trapezius from the latissimus dorsi. You can see now that I have a full muscle shown, and now there's my next muscle shown. Okay, now I need to find that new line. That's kind of a difficult one. I'm locating it right there. You can kind of barely see. I'm actually going to use my uh, tweezers here, or forceps, to peel away more loose connective tissue and locate that line. Once I do, you're going to notice my probe can go underneath. I'm just going to keep this dissection going. I'm using my finger to free everything up. Important thing that you're going to notice, it happens right here at this po point right there. This is where I'm going to shove my probe through here in a moment. And we're going to find actually three muscles all kind of coming together. The clavotrapezius, the acromiotrapezius, the one I'm underneath right now, and another muscle called the levator scapulae ventralis. So let's watch how this looks when we start kind of freeing them up. It can be a lot of tissue blocking my view. So right now I'm underneath the acromial trapezius, spinal tra uh, the latissimus dorsi, there's a spinal trapezius, and I'm underneath the acromial trapezius. So if I speed this up, we'll clean up this cat, get the dissection, get all the muscles fully cleaned up, getting rid of all the little fat tissue, other weird loose connective tissue that we don't need to have, and really exposing the muscles to view. So now I'm working on now the anterior portion of the acromial trapezius. And you can kind of see how I get my finger all the way through it. Acromial trapezius right there. Completely freed up. Go all the way and take this margin all the way up to the spine. Now I'm going to work my way down. Now this is where you got to be really careful because we have the levator scapula ventralis. And you do not want to cut that muscle. That would be very bad. Alright, so let's see. We're going to kind of tease our way down and get the clavo trapezius. Now at this moment, let's see if I can move it frame at a time. All right, you might notice that what I've got going on right here, right where my probe is, this margin here is the clavotrapezius. This will be muscle one. The acromiotrapezius was here, the spinal trapezius was there, and then latissimus dorsi was down there. You actually see there's going to be another muscle that's coming in right here. I'll make that five. Okay, the five, this muscle here, is our levator scapulae ventralis. Okay, so let's watch as I free this guy up. Got to be careful not to tear him. He actually dives underneath the clavotrapezius. So I'm freeing him up. I'm kind of pushing him down and lifting up the clavotrapezius and pushing the levator down. So there's my clavotrapezius line. You can see that nice and clean line right there. Free him all the way up to the margin. Get everything freed up. And now I'm going to free up the acromiotrapezius and the levator scapulae ventralis. So I need to free these two up. Again, if you get really close, you can actually see the fascicle direction, and that kind of helps out a lot when you're trying to remove some of this connective tissue. An untrained eye, it all just looks like pink tissue nastiness. Let's speed this up, get this thing finished. Okay, I'm still working on things, freeing them all the way up. Notice I've got my levator scapula ventralis completely freed up. Go all the way up to my midline, looking good. Okay, all the trapezius muscles are done. My levator scapula ventralis is getting kind of cleaned up. You can kind of see now that little band I'm under. Very nice. Okay. Going back through all of them, freeing them up. A lot of going back through. Okay, don't try to get it perfect the first time. Okay, now it's time to work on the deltoids. So I'm going to remove some stuff. Uh, one thing I want you to notice, if you see a blood vessel right here, right where my finger is kind of blocking, there's this like dark brown blood vessel, you can remove that. That's definitely superficial, so it's going to be removed when we go in deeper. So here I am peeling that off getting rid of that connective tissue. And now I'm exposing the clavodeltoid, it's the one in front. The clavodeltoid is kind of in the same line as the uh, clavotrapezius. And then right behind it is the acromiodeltoid. Again, I'm cleaning stuff, going right back up to my levator scapula ventralis. So I'm kind of cleaning up my muscle, using my blunt probe. Again, no scalpel usage at all. I'm now removing some tissue so I can see the uh, spinodeltoid. Let's see if there's a good spot where I can kind of pause. And perfect. Okay, let's pause right here and let's highlight all the muscles that we should know at this point. So I'm just going to go down the margins. So there's this muscle here. I see another margin right here. So this would be, I'll just go ahead and number these again for fun here. So we'll call that latissimus dorsi. That is the spinotrapezius. There's another two margins here. This would be my acromiotrapezius. There's this margin here. This would be my um, clavotrapezius. 
Then I have this little band of a muscle right there. Try to do my little arrow. That would be my levator scapulae ventralis. There's another line here. That would be number six. This is my uh, clavodeltoid. There's another line right here. This kind of muscle here. That would be my acromiodeltoid. And then there's a line. It's not fully dissected yet. It's coming in right here. And this would be my spinotrapezius, uh, spinodeltoid. All right. That pretty much ends this first dissection. You guys should have uh, more than enough area to start with. And we'll finish this. Uh, we'll move on to the second dissection next.